Hi YouTube, it's been about, man, four weeks since my last video maybe. I've been very busy so I haven't been making a whole lot of videos, although things have happened and I have got quite a few interesting things to talk about. Although right now I am a little bit annoyed because um, there's a camcorder that I have that cost me $200 and a little while back I lost a charger to it. And it takes a 5.2 volt charger. I saw a 5 volt charger on eBay and I bought that. Uh, cause the seller claimed it would work with my model perfectly fine. Even asked about it, they said they confirmed that yes, it worked with your model completely fine. I charged my camera with that, opened up the camera, and the thing's broken. It, it was giving all these flashy colors and stuff in the display, and that won't even turn on. So um, that kind of pissed me off a little bit. Um, so I my $200 camcorder of about two years just broke, so because of some seller's incompetence. But Regardless, I'm recording this video with my new iPhone 5 that I got about three or four, no, almost a week ago. Um, so yeah, I think the video quality should be good, pretty good. It's supposed to be 1080p, but my internet connection will not allow me to upload a 1080p video, probably. So anyway, back to the, uh, back to this stuff. Um, now, about three weeks ago, actually four weeks ago, when I made my last video, I was talking about how I got... 14 free computers, and um, a week, the week after that, or three weeks ago, I think it was, I got 16 computers. I think one of which was a laptop, and four of which I scrapped because they were old. They were old Dells and stuff, with Pentium 3s and stuff. Um, and I can't remember if I got this laptop here. I can't remember if I mentioned this in my last video or not. Because I can't remember if I got it three weeks ago or four weeks ago, but I haven't even really touched it. I have looked at it, though, and... Um, you press the power button, the lights just flash in the front, it doesn't turn on. I think it's a problem with a, a charging circuit or an, I, or an IC, IC chip or something on the motherboard. Because um, I had the same model laptop that gave me the same issue. Uh, but I can't remember that. I can't remember if that was one of the 16 I got three weeks ago, or if it was one of the ones I got four weeks ago. But um, And of the remaining 11 or 12 PCs, um, a handful of them are broken. Some of them did work, such as this one. Right here, no, yes, this one right here. Oops, oh man, I screwed up the label. I didn't want to do that. It's it's a custom-built PC. It's got an Intel Pentium D in it, running at 2.8 gigahertz. An Intel D101 GCC, no, GGC motherboard. Gigabyte of DR400 RAM, 80 gig, um, 7200 RPM hard drive, Windows XP, and a DVD plus R. DL or DVD reliable drive. I don't really know what the plus RDL means. Um, but honestly, but yeah. Um, I got about three or four of those almost exact same machine, although it didn't have any RAM or hard drive in it. I got about three or four of them, although this is the same type of motherboard. Or in two of the other identical custom built computers, but they have blown capacitors on which I might replace. Might sacrifice one of these to repair the other ones. And um let me see. Yes, I also have. Yeah, I got four of those computers because there's one right there, two broken motherboards, and one down here that has the same parts in it, except that I don't have a hard drive for um, because I'm all out of like 80 and 120 gig hard drives. It can take SATA or IDE, and uh, I, I'm going to put um, IDE in it because SATA costs a lot more. I have a lot fewer of them. But I am out of. Um, I only have 40 gigabyte drives and have like 300, so I don't really want to put 40 gig because that's too small. I don't want to put a 300 because that's too big. So yeah, I also got another custom built, um, two custom builts that had this type of motherboard in it, and um, I think I scrapped the other one. So this one has some blown capacitors on it as well. I think, yeah, right there, that one's blown. There's a lot of stuff oozing out of it too. I can't really see it, but. Come on, camera, focus. Let me see, can I have these? No. Let's take a video so back. Whatever. You got the, you, you got the idea. But, um, yeah, on top of that, I got a Optiplex GX280. Actually, I recorded a long video on all this stuff with my other camera, like, the day I got the stuff, but, not the day I got the stuff, but I recorded a video on all that stuff and didn't upload it because it was too, um, it was too, uh, I didn't finish it because my camera had the battery power, so I didn't I never got around to finishing the video. But 
It's a GX280 with a 2.8 gigahertz socket T, or also known as LJ775 Pentium 4 hyper threading. It takes SATA hard drives. Now it needs like it needs that stuff that I mentioned. It needs a power supply. What does it? Yeah, it needs a SATA hard drive and DDR2 memory. Um, and I took note that it doesn't sell for much of anything on eBay for unfortunately. The same thing for this one because there are so many listings for them. And this is a like oh yes, yeah, so two chicks, two eighties. Never mind. I got confused for a second there. I thought they were different models. Same parts, just oh this one has a power supply, this one does not. But um I don't know what I'm gonna do with them. I'm probably I'm not gonna have a surplus of saddle hard drives anytime soon to put in either of these things, so I'm probably just gonna sell them without hard drives. Uh I also got those two machines right there, they're an Omniplex GX60 and a GX260, is it? I have this really old, crappy laptop up here. Oh, a GX240 and GX60. The GX60 has a, I think it's got 2.8 here, I can check it now. No, never mind, it has a 1.8 gigahertz Pentium 4. Um, which is weird, I could swear it had, can't be right, I could swear it had um, SATA and everything in it. However, I'll, I'll check that out right now, hold on. It doesn't really matter that much, this is not really that big of a talking point, but I'll check it out anyway since I want to have a good idea in my head of what's what. Um, unfortunately, to many of the, these computers I got, almost all of them, I know we can't see anything right now because the camera's down, so I'm trying to open the same, it's taking me forever, but, um, geez, this is not opening, come on. But almost all the power supplies have been cut up, which is why these all need power supplies, and all the custom builds and everything I got working, not the custom builds actually, the custom builds were fine, but, um, no, this thing does not take sad, never mind. Those things are pretty much identical, they don't suffer much, but, with almost all the computers I got, the power supplies and all the cords inside were sliced and diced up, so I had to replace them. And these ones I don't have replacements for. Um, I'm still not done mentioning all the computers I got three weeks ago. The lights aren't on over here, but I have another computer. This is one of the ones that had one of those D101 GGC motherboards in it, the Pentium D. It's an empty case. Oh, man, you cannot see anything, I'm sorry. This thing's not very good in low lighting. Sorry, I'm banging the camera around so much because I'm using my tiny phone. But yeah, that's the case. There's a power supply and it's working. That's good. I'm going into far too much detail, but I have a bunch of cases sitting around here because it was a mess in here about a day ago, and I uh, like this. I could barely walk through a here because I had so many computers. So today, I took the liberty of organizing these ones and putting the empty cases over there temporarily. And my brother is thinking about getting back into computer stuff by doing a case mod. He's thinking about, he's thinking about taking a little bit of an older case and painting it and um, cutting a hole in the side, putting plexiglass in there and um, doing a light job with it. He's, he's putting lights in it, I mean. And he's going to do a good job with it. I trust that he will do a very good job with it. Because he's done other case mods that I have videos on, but they're not perfect. Oh, man, what else did I get? Um, I'll mention that later, but I'm trying to mention all the stuff I got three weeks ago. And that's pretty much it, except for these two. I actually also got a Dell Dimension E310, it's from like 2004 or 5. It looks, it looks like the E series, except it's black and it's smaller. Um, it has like Pentium 4 hyper threading and DDR2 memory, but it doesn't sell for much. But I got that working. I forgot to mention that. Either that or I got four weeks ago and I already mentioned it. I can't remember. I don't think I've mentioned this yet. This is a. Oh, I have a memory setting topic. I am so disorganized. This is terrible. Optiplex GX620. It had some some DDR2 memory in it. Actually, it is two chips of 512 megahertz. 512 megahertz, 512 megabytes. Sorry, I've been working on math homework for like an hour or two straight, so my mind is barely functioning anymore. But well, it's not easy stuff. I'm in a pretty high level math class, but that's completely irrelevant. It takes out of hard drives and everything, but it's missing the um, side casing, and I don't think I have any compatible ones in the front. Bezel thing right there is missing. And too many missing parts. I don't think it even sells for that much online. So, you know, I even haven't even decided what I'm going to do because it's not so overloaded with that stuff. Also, got this machine right here. Here's the front to it. It's an HP Compact. Doesn't tell me the model number on there. 
And again, I apologize for very bad camera work if there's any. But it doesn't give me the model number in the back either. It's weird. But it's just an HP copy of some sort. Um, you gotta remember, I think it has like a 2 I don't know. I haven't even tested it yet, I don't think. Around a 2 gigahertz Pentium 4, maybe 2.4, I don't know. I can't remember if it had RAM, but it takes the DR. Um, it's one of the older kind of motherboards with socket 478. I think I had a 30 gig ID hard drive in it that I wiped and put away. I'm losing my voice here. That's enough for that. Um, that's pretty much everything I got three weeks ago. And uh, I'm going to start mentioning stuff out of chronological order, but I have this iMac G5. I've actually had it for quite some time now. Um, but I noticed when I was cleaning up today that it was just sitting under the ping pong table. So I pulled it out and it ends up it works fine. I just had to load an operating system on it. And the CD, I had the CD sitting right here that I got a while back. So I completely forgot I had it. So I turned it on and um, uh, I installed the operating system and I'm almost done restarting. I have to download 768 megabytes of updates, which took about two hours of my internet connection speed. Which is why I'm probably not going to be uploading this video in 1080p. Um, I'm just getting it working. I'm going to sell it probably for a little over 100 bucks. Got no wireless, so, but these things are bending the oldest side. They've got. I saw a couple of these before. I've got 1.8 gigahertz power PC CPUs. Um, I take DDR RAM, take set of hard drives, um, and OS 10.5. I'm updating it to OS 10.5.8. Oh man. I think three, or three or four weeks ago. I think it was four. I think I mentioned this already, but just in case I didn't, I have this custom built motherboard. Oh, the model number is. I think I already mentioned this. G A K E N S C 939. Takes DDR memory. I think it takes A and D. Yeah, Athlon 64s. Um, I don't think it takes X2s. No, this is 64s. HP 4X. And I uh, I made a custom built PC out of this. I think it was four weeks ago. And um, this motherboard works. It works. I have cases for it. I just need to put it in a case, which I don't have, I haven't had time for yet. Uh, that's some other board too. I don't even know. I don't even know where that came from. These are some other boards that were sitting in my brother's room inside the house. And for those of you who don't know, I'm not in my house right now. I'm in a renovated horse stable in the backyard. But that's not the point. The point is, the stuff was sitting around. I didn't know I had it. This is the point I sold. This is like, I don't know, some really old motherboards. I think it's an 8200, but it's got a bunch of gunk right there. So I'm going to, I doubt it works. I'm just going to scrap it. This motherboard, which is an 8250 motherboard, but I don't think it works either, so I'm probably going to scrap that as well. I found those things sitting in my brother's room, along with a big box of other stuff over here. Uh, containing a disassembled HP laptop, or well, mostly disassembled. All the modern hinges are off, and it's, it only has a motherboard, it only has a motherboard, it looks like. Older ThinkPad. Oh, another an older Dell with like a Pentium 3 or something, some power supplies and stuff that'll come in handy. But, um, but yeah. Um, I'm not even nearly done mentioning things. Oh, man, I'm going way out of order. But here is a Dell Dimension 2350. My grandmother bought this computer in 2002, and she had it for over 10 years. About a month ago, I took it out of her house, and because uh, we replaced it with a brand new iMac um, but I don't even know what I want to do with it because it has a lot of sentimental value to me because I remember being like six or seven years old and playing on this thing, playing games on it and stuff and um, it's still some of our data off of it, that's not really a problem for me, I can get it all off no problem but it does believe it or not have some sentimental value for me, it's only worth 20-30 bucks for me to sell so I don't know, maybe it'll be one of the very few computers I'll just kind of shove it in a corner and forget about but um, I don't think I'm going to sell it, at least not right away I haven't even begun to process it yet my business teacher from school gave me some printers about two weeks ago um, I threw a couple of them out since they were this is very old but this one is a printer and scanner thing I haven't even looked at it yet, it says they work and there's another one in this box and I don't know what it is and I don't feel it's like spending the time figuring it out but um, today is Sunday. Tomorrow's Memorial Day, so I have school off, thankfully. But 
Um, two years ago, a year ago, I got some of this stuff, uh, some power supplies to things. Plus a copy of Windows 7 Ultimate, someone decided to throw out, you know, that was a nice, uh, that's one of the lesser valuable pieces of my findings. Just kidding, it's one of the, it's the most valuable. It's an upgrade, though. Windows 7 Ultimate 32 and 64-bit CD upgrade. Obviously, I'm not going to open it for you, because I don't feel like showing anyone the COA. But, um, what are the advantages? I can run applications in XP mode. I don't care. I'm just going to read these up real quick. Convert to convenient or anything, yeah, don't really care. Backup tool, don't care. Protect data in your PC, don't care. Switch between 35 languages. I'm just an unintelligent monolingual American, so it doesn't matter to me. Wireless B USB adapter of some sort. I don't even know if it's worth anything, but I just took it anyway. I haven't even looked at it yet. I might just end up tossing it again. Um... Let's upgrade that. I think it's made for when you're running Vista, I think, so, um, you know, well, first off, I don't really want to upgrade any of my other machines, because I would include having to back up all the data and put them back on. And I have it, my gaming PC from 2012, that cost 2,000 bucks, I'm running 64-bit home premium on, but it's not really worth it to rewrite the entire operating system just to get 7 on it. Actually, it might be, because... Um, all my games and all my large quantities of files are stored on my secondary hard drive. Uh, whereas only the programs are stored on the primary hard drive, so I might upgrade. Although it's technically isn't my Never mind. This is a Dell Dimension A100 that I had sitting over there behind all those computers at the edge of the couch for like a year. It had a 1.5 gigahertz Pentium 4 socket. 473, I think it is, which is before sort of 478. It took SD RAM or Sync RAM, I mean, everything. It's Sync RAM. Um, and I just grabbed it because I'm like, it's not even worth it to sell because I'm really feeling overwhelmed here. I have 52 computers I need to sell, including the ones that are currently boxed up there, listed on eBay right now. So, yeah, that's kind of annoying. But I'm going to toss the case out next week. Oh, three weeks ago I still got this laptop, but it's worth nothing. It's just an old Dell. Stick a DDR2 RAM, a DDR1 RAM on top of it. I don't care about that. Oh, I also got an iMac G4 three weeks ago. That was one of the ones I uh, ended up scrapping. My, my brother this is the pawn, at least. Um, it was an iMac G4, so those are kind of a vintage computer, but I already have three of them, so, you know, screw it. Um, it's a 30 gig hard drive. My brother took out of it. I have not scrapped yet. Um, Nvidia G4 8800 G2. T uh, with a bunch of blown caps. Uh, I highly doubt it works, but I might fix it. I think I also got this three weeks ago as part of one of the 16 computers I got. It's an HP. It's an HP Pavilion A384X. Uh, those were its original specs, which you can read off. And I think it has all those original specs in it, except for the hard drive, of course. But um, I have no case hiding for it. I have a... Oh, it's a gateway, never mind, it's not compatible. Um, never mind, I was going to mention something. Um, but never mind. But I'm missing the case hiding to this thing, so... Um, there's really no point in getting it working and selling it if it has no case hiding. So I might, I'm just probably going to leave it here until I can find a case hiding for it. I might buy one, I don't know. This is part of one of the computers that I just haven't done anything with yet. I haven't even really thought about it. Over here, there was a computer a server sitting here since a couple of days ago, up until a couple of days ago, um, sitting there for about three weeks. I just didn't do anything with it, and I finally scrapped it. That's how slow stuff gets processed. Because I have so many other things to do. I'm not spending every day out here, exactly. Um, so three weeks ago, I had 16 computers. Two weeks ago... I think I got like three or four or two or three computers. Sorry about that, my phone went to sleep on me. Um, if you ever see this this happen, I'm taking the video, I'm tapping the screen to make it wake up again. Um, but, um, so yeah, three weeks ago I got 16 computers. I think two weeks ago I got like, no, two weeks ago I didn't get, it was one week ago. I can't remember. Um, 
in the past two weeks, so since three weeks ago, I got 16 computers. I probably only got five or six computers. My last, what, two pickings since then? Oh, I can't remember. I honestly can't remember if it was two weeks ago or one week ago. It was just over a week ago, actually. I got a PS2. I know I have two PS2s. Um, this is part of my video game console collection. I got two PS2s. This is a, the Xbox 360 is actually my friend's. Um, he wanted me to fix it because the CD drive would not open and it wouldn't read anything off the CD. So I, I took an Xbox of mine that was also broken that I had come very close to fixing. That has problems with it. I'm not going to go into right now since I mentioned it in my other videos. Um, and I uh, put the CD drive in it. Um, and unfortunately, although the CD drive now does open and close since it's, it's a new drive, it still doesn't read from it. So the read problem is something wrong on the motherboard, which I'm going to have to try to fix by maybe refilling the solder, which might break the Xbox even more, but it might fix it. But, it, you know, it's it's useless the way it is now, so I might as well just, you know, take a shot at it. Um, I can't remember, if it, so it's not my Xbox, but the reason it has an Xbox 360 Halo 3 edition cover on it is because I had the Halo 3 edition Xbox I was trying to fix and said it looked cool on the front, so I put it on there. I can't remember if I mentioned that I got a PS2, but I got a PS2 a while back. Maybe it was two weeks ago, I don't know. And then a week ago, I got another PS2. Um, I also have a PS1 and an NES I've had for about a year and a half. Um, so yeah, might sell one of the PS2s. They're worth about 20 30 bucks with controllers and power cords and everything, which I don't have. And I have two controllers, but I want to keep both of them, one for the PlayStation 1, one for the PlayStation 2. Um, this isn't worth mentioning, I'm spending too much time on it. Because i got a lot of stuff to cover in this video. Um, but yeah. NPC's working okay. Oh, my internet is so slow. I guess I'm going to whine about my slow internet again. That whenever it's a, like a 500 megabyte update release for a game, um, it's actually more worth it for me to delete the game off the computer. Well, since I have, since I have multiple computers, it's actually more worth it for me to um, download on one computer back up the updated version of the game to an external hard drive, delete it off another computer, and manually reinstall it with the backup on the hard drive onto the other computer, instead of downloading 500 megabytes twice, because it's actually faster to do that, to completely reinstall the game than it is to download 500 megabytes. If that makes sense. Uh, I'm just kind of spitting off random bits of information here and there. I think I already mentioned this, but this was a digital video control center thingy from 2007 that I got a matter of months ago. Um, I think it worked for a little while, but it either broke or I realized that it wasn't switching properly between the HDMI. Um, and that can be apparently fixed by replacing those, some of those capacitors on the HDMI board, which I haven't gotten into yet. I don't know if this thing's worth my time. This thing's worth a lot, though. Because look, it even has video upload version from analog to mm -hmm. digital. But I haven't got around to working on this thing yet. Um, a couple months ago, actually, I convinced my parents to buy a new video control center for like 200 bucks. But then I realized, um, like over my friend's house and hooking up stuff for them, that you don't even need a digital. Uh, it's not digital, in fact. But you don't even need a video control center. Um, all you need is a. Blu-ray player that has the, an ARC channel or audio return channel um, with surround sound outputs, and you don't need you can bypass the need for a control center because you know whatever you plug into your TV, you will go through the ARC back to the surround sound through the Blu-ray player. What I'm basically trying to say is that there are a lot of Blu-ray players that basically have a video control center kind of built into them. That's helpful, but yeah. Um, as techy as I am, um, a lot of the stuff my parents have, like, my parents use more often than, than I, such as the TV and everything are very outdated. Our TV is from, like, 2006, and we're using, we're using a DVD player that had, like, a VHS tape slot in it for a while. I don't know, we're, we're very behind the modern curve. Well, I was digging around in my brother's room about a month or two ago. Maybe less. Probably since the last video it was. 
Um, I found a bunch of these little connectors to a, um, a universal power supply we bought about two or three years ago. I was looking for those things, and it's immensely helpful now that I have them, because instead of having to dig through, well, since the power supply is a very high amperage, um, all I need is the right connector type, and I can use any laptop with it pretty much. So instead of having to dig through all my other power supplies to find the right power supply for a laptop, I can just go ahead and use a, use a universal power supply, so that's useful. Man, it's late May, and it's cold. It was cold and rainy today. It's a tidbit of information I felt like mentioning for no reason. Um, I don't know if I mentioned this or not. I don't think I did, but I sold a bunch of my scrap. I was kind of on a thin string with my scrap buyer for a while because I'm going to go over this lightly and quickly. I can't remember if I mentioned this in my last video. What I really should have done is I should have watched my last video to refresh my mind on what I did and did not mention, but I haven't done that, so... Um, Regardless if I mentioned this already, I'm going to mention it anyway. Um, I was on a thin string with my scrap buyer because I saw him at a local computer store and stopped in to say hi, and uh, it was not the right thing to do because he took it as me infringing upon um, his business students, which I was. I was asking questions and talking to the guys at the computer store. I was just being a little bit intrusive, and uh, he was not okay with me, and he didn't contact me for about two or three weeks like he was he seemed to be I was I suspect that he was ignoring my emails but or my dad's emails rather but it ends up that he was just busy and he eventually got back to us and he's buying from me again so um, I sold four hundred and sixty something dollars of scrap or was it, it four hundred and seventy five roughly dollars of scrap to him in one day and that was pretty fancy excluding my RAM and, and, and CPUs Oh, I sold four hundred seventy-five dollars of scrap, roughly, and um, that was nice to get all that off my back. But now I'm building up more scrap. I probably only have, if I sell everything to them, but the CPUs and power, the CPUs and the RAM. I mean, again, I probably only have forty to fifty bucks worth of scrap after like three weeks or so, or maybe four. I don't know. Oh man, what more should I mention? I don't know, it's, I'm just trying to clean up in here. I'm at the stage where I'm not really working on stuff and putting computers together as much as I am, just putting computers away. And a couple of weeks ago, I got a Dell Dimension 8200, or maybe it's more closer to a week ago, along with a 4600 or something, or 4700, I don't know. Actually, two weeks ago, I have got a 4700 set up, and I'm selling it now. But that's not really relevant. But... I also got a Dell Dimension 8200 with a 2.4 GHz Pentium 4 and like 512 megabytes of RDRAM and no hard drive, but hard drive in it. I'm talking really fast. And I got working, but it ends up that it was giving me weird problems. I asked for a BIOS password whenever I start off, even though I reset the BIOS settings, I still asked for a BIOS password. And um, you would just leave the thing blank and hit enter and accept it. And I started doing other weird things. I installed the operating system on updated Windows and blue screen, so I didn't feel like dealing with it. There were no blown caps on the motherboard, but it could have been a problem with the RAM or hard drive, but I just scrapped the entire thing. I, I kept the CPU, the RAM, and the hard drive, though, in the case for spare parts. But I scrapped the motherboard because it just wasn't worth the trouble. Because I can you know, I can sell down the Dimension 8200s for 20 or 30 bucks profit, but if I have 52, roughly, 52 computers to sell, is it really worth it to add one more, like, 20 or $30 one on top of the pile? in a couple hours of work. I don't really think so. Oh, I forgot to mention something. Um, where do I start? How do I go at this? Um, I'm going to say that about a month ago, I, I had an opportunity for an internship at a company called Cigna, which is a big healthcare company. Um, roughly in my area. It's a little bit south of me. Closer to the city, but... Um, I had an opportunity with them, and they interviewed me, and I was pretty confident I was going to get the job, but I did not. Um, it was a technical job, because uh, I go to a technical school. I has a technical high school, it is, a magnet high school, and um, I didn't get the job, so I was bummed out. They are going to pay me like $12 an hour, I think it was, I thought it was 14 I can't remember. Um, I was bummed out I didn't get that, but I was sitting in school probably closer to a month ago. Not probably less than that, probably about three weeks ago. And my internship advisor pulls me out of class and tells me, Hey, Scott, I got you an in internship. And I was pretty happy about that. Um, 
and she said that they didn't even want to interview me. They saw my resume and they hired me without even interviewing me. So I thought that was interesting. Um, probably because I, I have a decent resume. Um, I think I, I think I have bragging rights in my resume because I mentioned all my computer business and everything. And I think that got me somewhere. I wasn't the only one though. There were four other computer, four other computers. <laughs> Jeez, I can tell. You tell I'm getting tired. It's late. It's sort of late. Four other people were hired for the job. Um, and they weren't inter weren't interviewed either, so you know I'm not that special, I guess. But um, it's a job five days a week over the summer, eight thirty to five. So it's eight and a half hours a day, five days a week for the, my entire summer vacation. It's in the technical field of a company called Travelers in Hartford, and uh, in the middle of the city, and they're paying me sixteen and a half dollars an hour to work there as an intern. And I'm pretty happy about that. Um, I don't really want to spend that much time on the internship, but I'm doing it because, firstly, I make money. Well, that's not my main reason. I'm re I don't really care that much about the money, obviously, since I have, I'm have, i sitting on at least several thousand dollars in this very room. I just need to sell. So money is an issue for me. Even though I'm 16, I don't need much more money. But I'm um, doing it because the internship is a great opportunity to get work experience and it goes good on a reg resume in a future job application is to say that I worked, you know, a full time inter paid internship for the for an entire summer after my junior year of high school. So that's uh that's pretty good. Um although it's a bit stressful though, because it's about I'm sixteen and my dad wants me to Eventually, probably not the first day, but eventually he wants me to be doing a 45-minute drive into the city when I'm 16 years old for a, an all-day internship. And, you know, six, being 16 years old, getting my license, and driving into the downtown city and back every day for a full-time job is obvious, honestly a bit more than my 16-year-old um, mind really wants to do right now. That's that's kind of stressing me out thinking about it. But I think I'll do it eventually because I have to step up my out of my comfort zone, which I'm learning. I'm very stressed actually at this point in my life right now. I have a lot of stuff I've got to do. I've got to retake SATs and do the ACTs and college applications and get my driver driver's license and all this different stuff. There's tons of stuff hanging over my head right now, and I am kind of stressed about it. And um. One thing I'm learning though is that I have to step outside of my comfort zone in order to get anywhere in life. So I'm going to do that. <sighs> Basically, this video is me just pointing the camera at things while talking, but that's pretty much what I always do. Uh, there's a lot that has remained unmentioned in this video. There's probably at least five or ten computers I've got within the past month that I haven't even mentioned yet, um, including a Snowball iMac I got just over a week ago. Um, it has a display problem, so I don't know if it's something with the graphics um, on the motherboard or if it's a screen problem, but it doesn't show anything. It locks up or something. I can't remember exactly what it does. Although it is on the older side, it's got like a 1 gigahertz CPU or something, and like sync RAM. So it's not worth much. I might just chuck it. I also got the Stell Dimension 2350, as in that case. Um, the front bezel was held on by tape and Two of the three tabs that keep it on are broken. The power it didn't. It, the power supply was all cut up to it. I think either that or it didn't have a power supply. Um, the motherboard. Oh, the motherboard was torn up. Someone had taken out their anchor in the motherboard and ripped off some capacitors and stuff. And I was going to scrap the computer anyway, since I've finally come to the important realization that you know a twenty-dollar computer isn't worth it anymore, since I have so many of these things I need to sell. Which I am working on. I got all these listed, or almost listed, except for two of them. But um, so I was gonna scrap the motherboard anyway. But since the motherboard's torn apart, it just gave me it gave me yet another reason to scrap it. So I did. Um, I pulled the other parts out of it, and I'm keeping them. And I might just keep the case for parts, although I really don't need it. Actually, I think I have a 2350 motherboard right here. We can pop that in there and get another, and spend another three hours of my life gaining 20 bucks. Is it even worth it? I don't know. But quite a few of you, I'm sure quite a few of you would like to get, you know, a 2350, a Dell Dimension 2350 motherboard and be able to work on it and sell it for 20 or 30 bucks. But for me, when I have over 50 other ones to sell, is it really worth my time? I don't know. 
I got too much crap in here. That's basically the realization I've come to over the past couple of weeks. You know, all this, do I, do I even need this stuff? This is a pretty cool heat sink, so yeah, I guess I'll use that. Broken 900 GTX Plus. Maybe we'll fix that. But, you know, bits and pieces, and broken motherboards and stuff. That's a pretty fancy motherboard. Some figure that out. But it's broken, so never mind. Um, I just basically have to go around. A mini pump. Why do I have a mini water pump in here? Why? I don't know. I just got to throw stuff out. Basically, that's what I have to do, which I'm going to do. So, I think it's going to conclude this video. Um, I'm sure as soon as I'll hit the stop button, I'll be like, oh my gosh, I forgot to mention this completely uninteresting fact, but I'll skip whatever fact that is. Um, I'm just going to call it done for this video. Um, I just have to, basically, my statement is I have a lot of stuff to clean up, a lot of computers to still get working, and even more computers I need to list sell online. Combined with the fact I'm already busy and preoccupied with other things in life. So, that being my closing statement, um, as always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video, whenever that may be.